while the president was in Texas, Governor Perry again made his pitch for 1,000 National Guard forces on the border. I talked to him afterwards. He said not only would that in increase security, he acknowledged the fact that these uh, unaccompanied minors are being apprehended. <coughs> he doesn't dispute what the president says about that, but says as a symbol and as a means of telling Central American leaders and parents there, if the National Guard, augmented by Border Patrol and state troopers in Texas are all there, it would send a visual message throughout Central America, don't even get near the border because you're not going to get across in the first place. He's not arguing that in a sort of hostile way, he thinks. He thinks that's actually a, a genuine solution that ought to be seriously considered. What's your reaction? Well, he's entitled to his view. He's the longest serving governor of the state of Texas in Texas history. He is the governor of a state that has the longest border with Mexico. I think the simple question that I would ask, he's entitled to that point of view. I guess the question I would ask is what would be better? Uh, a thousand National Guard troops or 20,000 Border Patrol agents? Uh, for the symbolic reasons that he says are paramount in this circumstance, it seems to me that the 20,000 Border Patrol agents would be a better option. Uh, which is why, if this is his genuine view, I would expect him to be an enthusiastic advocate for common sense, common sense immigration reform. Uh, passing common sense immigration reform along the lines of what passed the Senate with bipartisan support would add 20,000 uh, officers to the border. So if it's, even if it's only for purely symbolic reasons, as Governor Perry says, uh, that seems like a pretty good path. And so we would like to see um, Governor Perry join the fight. Uh, you know, you saw some pretty persuasive advo advocacy from uh, from Bill Gates and Sheldon Adelson um, today in the New York Times in the uh, op-ed. I think Warren Buffett signed it as well, uh, indicating the common sense benefits of comprehensive immigration reform. They didn't uh, highlight the symbolic value of deploying additional resources to the border, uh, but they chronicled what I think are a lot of the economic benefits to this country. Presumably, a lot of those economic benefits would be enjoyed by communities in Texas that aren't far from the border. So there are a whole host of reasons to support common sense immigration reform. If Governor Perry has settled on a new one, we welcome his support. But you know, and would, would acknowledge, Josh, that those 20,000 wouldn't be there anytime soon. They would be legislated, <laughs> authorized, appropriated, and trained and deployed over a substantial period of time. I believe the window within the legislation is 10 years. His point is, something needs to be done visually now and also in a way that secures the border to reduce the incentive, real or unreal, imagined or completely concocted in Central America, that if you cross, you have a good chance of being able to stay. Can you address that? The well, immediate, his contention is, something needs to be done immediately. And you would acknowledge the bipartisan legislation passed by the Senate would not do it that immediately. Well, no, but it, what it would do is it would be an enduring solution. Sending a 1,000 National Guardsmen to the border is not an enduring solution. That is almost by definition temporary. So if we really, again, if, we, if we're into symbols here, and if symbolism is what we're looking for, the best symbol that we could send uh, is to authorize the deployment of 20,000 additional law enforcement officials to the border. Keep in mind, this is on top of the historic investment that's already been made. Uh, under this president's watch in the border. There are more resources and boots on the ground along the border than at any other time in our nation's history. So uh, again, a permanent solution uh, is one that would have extraordinary economic benefits as highlighted by Warren Buffett and Sheldon Adelson and Bill Gates this morning. Uh, if there's symbolic value that Governor Perry sees, then we certainly would welcome him uh, getting on board and making that case.